Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 187 points, half percent. Half percent for the S&P or 25 points. A little less than half for the NASDAQ 100, 72. One and a half percent for the Russell. 30-point move there. Semis are down 27. You've got gold up five bucks with silver being back 15 cents. U.S. dollar index up 245 pips trade on 102.33 or thereabouts uh you've got uh, lights we crude up 236 national gas up nine cents so do your treasury off a uh, five uh ticks printed out at 122 even steven let's go take a look at all that might mean by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini now you'll see here that at the moment price is trading below the bottom of the profile for the Profile levels calculated by this e-signal system out there. And that's at the 47.99 level. However, my other system, uh, the uh, uh, the Ninja Trader system out there, has got. Sorry, I should have had this uh, right here ready to go. It has 47.15 as the bottom of its profile level. Got the spot volatility, it has held this little rising trend line out there. So if it does hold that, then that suggests we could see a bottom in it, and we should see or could see the ES Mini continue to move lower. In the case of the NQ, yesterday closed above the top of its daily profile. That level is at 16.832. A second close above that, is going to suggest that it wants to go target those recent highs, but it does have an oscillator on change line that has to deal with. That's at the 16,976 level. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's attempting to break out above profile. That requires a close above 102.26, needs to do it for two consecutive days. If it does that, we head up towards the 104 level. You can see that gold still trading within its uh, rising and descending trend lines. We're getting real close to that wedge right there, so perhaps we're going to see a breakout over the course of the next couple couple of days. There is a new profile that is attempting to form. Very narrow. 2029 is support. 2061 is resistance. Silver is trading below profile support. That's down at um, profile support is at 2306. But I believe that uh, silver will trigger a TD9 count bottom. So we'll have to take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. If you take a look at Lightspeed Crude, nice little rally, but running into that descending trend line resistance level. If you can clear that area, 7755 would be in the cards out there. New profile has formed or is forming inside of natural gas. Resistance up at 321, support the 280, 261 to 269 level out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.